Hello everyone and welcome back to my Zack and Wiki walkthrough! Woo! In the last part we completed the final level of Barbaros' castle, unlocking the boss stage, which is actually the final level of Barbaros' castle, so I don't know why I said that. But this is called Return of the Legend! Woo! Uh, no! Why must there be a loading screen? Why? Every time I get all excited and there's the loading screen. All right, we're here! Woohoo! Oh, spooky tower! Here comes this little story sequence! Oh, I'm so excited! Hey, Zach, wait up! What the heck? What the heck is what? Who said that? Oh my God! Oh, it's the skull guy, Barbaros! Oh, terribly sorry. I hope I didn't startle you. This castle used to be my hideout. I caught up to see if I could help. Your hideout's kind of turned spooky. Uh oh. This is the last line of defense against intruders. Watch yourselves. It's quite dangerous. You know, you could kind of tell me a solution to your puzzle. That would be kind of nice of you, Barbaros. There's just one part of me left until I'm whole again. Treasure Island and the legendary ship are almost yours. I'm counting on you, Zack. Hey, come back here. Give me the solution to this puzzle. Oh, oh my god, there's a treasure chest. It's right before our eyes! And there's a frog. That's a cute little froggy over there. He's kind of cute, yeah. Whoa! What are those gates holding? Oh, we're about to find out! And we're gonna go over onto the treasure chest and click on it. And the piano plays its notes. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Giant Iron Maiden attack! Wow, vacuum cleaner, ahoy! Oh, no, my treasure chest! Hey, how'd the treasure chest get over there anyway? Here's near the corner of the room, but whatever. Wow! Wow! Marionette dolls! <laughs> Aren't those the ones that kind of go inside each other? I think they're called marionette dolls. Well, anyway, and so it starts. And what we do right now is we do absolutely nothing. We wait for a little bit and kind of, you know, wait for them to kind of do something here because we can't do anything at the moment. This little chain over here we can't grab onto. Ooh, there's some bats. Now we can grab onto them. Ding, ding, ding. And thank you. And let's grab the other bat. There we go. And let's grab our bat brella. Woohoo! Batbrellas for the win, but it is not going to be used as you think it will be. Hold on a sec, something else is coming. Yay! Any day now, you know. Um, yeah, it, it, it's kind of a waiting game if you already know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa! Inside each other. That's what they. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And uh, yeah, there's a, a quite an ominous little thunder cloud there. So I'm gonna press the two button on the back umbrella to open it up. And I'm singing in the death, just singing in the death. What a glorious feeling to be alive. I'm happy again. Okay, that takes care of that. Yeah, that's like the only time in the game where the Batbrella is actually used as an umbrella. What, what do you know? <laughs> okay, next phase is coming up here. Now we gotta go over by this chain here. We can close the Batbrella right away here. And now we're just gonna wait for a little bit. Yes, we're waiting once again. We're waiting. We're all waiting. Oh, there's some pots, but we don't need those pots just yet. Actually, they're more like vases, if any. Well, I guess they could be pots. Okay, now we're... Oh, there's some more pots. Yee! But we're going to need those pots later. I'll show you why. But right now, your best bet is to wait right here, just for a minute or so, until some ghosts come out of the middle one again. The, you know, the big red one over here. Big red gum. Nice and chewy and spicy. Ding! <laughs> And the, yeah, now they're gonna go inside each other again, and they're gonna form yet another attack of Ultron! Yeah! Actually, it's more like a bunch of ghosts. Now you're going to click this chain right here, flip the bat umbrella around, and grab onto the chain, pull down, pull down, yeah, yeah, three times until the window opens, and you know the light kills the ghost, or I should say makes them go away. So now we're gonna go into the light right here in time and start checking out pots. Yeah! Oh, that's the pot we need! That is the pot we need! Yes, baby! 
that is the pot we needed. We needed that snake grappler right there. Or I should say slither gripper. And uh, that ends this phase. And the next phase is going to be a death guessing one. I shouldn't say it's a guessing one. It's uh, find which one is different. You'll see what I mean in just a second here. But in the meantime, while I do that, I'm going to scare the frog out of the hole, just like so. Ding ding. There we go. And that should create a cutscene. That there we go. Uh oh. The snake's going in the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. This, there's just too many opportunities in this game for that joke. The froggy. Okay, we don't need the frog just yet. We do not need the frog just yet. For now, we have to stall out this uh, this part right here. We're gonna stand. Oh, big death room, ahoy! Okay, now we're gonna watch carefully. See the blue one isn't moving. Okay, now the whole room is gonna turn into a death. You'll see that there's three colors in here. Stand on the circle that uh, is the safe one. Are you determined to be safe based on their movements before the sucky sucky? And as you see, I survived it. The one in the light is the only safe spot in the whole room. Now we gotta repeat until... Okay, the red one is the different one. Now we gotta repeat this until they stop doing this phase. Go, go in the red one. Go in the red one. Thank you, red one. Red one, there we go. <laughs> I am safe. You'll notice there's a counter above their head as well. That gives you plenty of time to get in each circle. But the trick to this one is finding out which one uh, is the correct one. Okay, which one, which one, which one? Um, uh, I think it was the yellow one. The, the yellow one's eyes didn't glow, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, I'll have to use an oracle doll. It's very tricky to find out which one is the different one, actually, later on. Yes, I am correct. The yellow one is the good one. Woohoo! Go vacuum cleaner, you cannot suck me up in the light. Whoa! And, uh, am I supposed to go on the yellow one or something? Yes, I am. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Um, oh, now I need the frog bomb. Get the frog bomb. Woo! Froggy bomb. Now, put it in the light. Go, uh, you want to put the frog bomb into the light where that thing is going to appear. Just like that. Oh, it already appeared. I mean, dang it! Now I gotta wait for the next one to pop up, and that's gonna be the blue one. Well, I don't want to get exploded by that bomb there. But you want to, what you want to do is, you know, the that ghostly figure appeared over the yellow one. I mean, inside the yellow one. Well, you want the bomb to explode in the yellow one. So you want the yellow ring. I mean, you want it to go inside the yellow ring platform thingy that's gonna get sucked in. Like you gotta wait a bit here, and then I I gotta wait for the yellow one to. Uh, bring his ring. Well, I'm gonna dingy ding my frog right away. So I'm gonna, yeah, grab that frog bomb. Now I'm gonna wait for the yellow ring, uh, wherever that's gonna appear, because it, they go in sequential order. And uh, where is it? There it is. Drop it off. Oh my god, I'm running low on time. See you guys in the next.